Hello friends, this is Colby Cajero, the 33-year-old breast cancer survivor patient. Today is Wednesday, December the 8th, 2021, and it is exactly seven days since my double mastectomy with the initial stages of breast reconstruction surgery. So, um, I feel like the healing process is going well. I have visited with my breast surgeon yesterday and the plastic surgeon today, and they seem to think that um, all of my incisions look really, really good. So let me just share a few things with you um, that have been going on and then I'll let you know what the doctor said. So um, some things that I have been experiencing. I feel like they're more like phantom pains or like tingling, stinging pains. Um, every once in a while my left nipple will feel like it is on fire and it is the strangest thing right here under my um uh, my left boob i will also sometimes get like a stabbing pain like i've been gut checked really really hard um so that's interesting um right here under my right arm remember the right side is where the lymph node biopsy was so um so everything under this right arm is still numb and every once in a while it'll feel tingly or scratchy like i've literally like scratched it with like a stick or something uh, I don't know how to describe it, but yeah, anyways, um, or like something really scratchy. Um, there's tingling sensations. There's, um, sensations of like fire burning hot or like, like shooting spasmy, uh, not spasm because that sounds more like muscle spasms, but I'm talking about like electric spasms. Um, I've reported all of these things to my, both of my doctors and both of them say that these things are normal, normal sensations. Um, and things like that so because of all the nerves that were cut and all of those nerves are still healing I have been informed that um, that the the numbness so um, just in case you uh, didn't see one of my last videos I am basically numb all across my chest and under my right arm I can't even feel when I put deodorant on or put soap on under this arm when I'm showering and anything so it's just the most bizarre feeling ever and um and it, it hurts so i have no idea why but it, it it have you ever if you've ever like done gymnastics and i know you're supposed to keep up on your elbows but if you've ever just like let yourself hang there on the bar or like on the monkey bars or anything like that and it's just it's rubbed under your armpit that's exactly what this feels like and um and it, it's just constant like that pressure and that rubbing it's it's always there it's so weird um but again the doctors say that that is normal um i was experiencing so coloration in the left nipple has been beautiful coloration in the right nipple the nipple itself is like this purplish blue color so that started freaking me out with the areola was normal color so um talked to the breast surgeon about that yesterday she said that that it looks pretty normal to her that sometimes um re getting the blood supply to come back um just takes a little bit of time but she wasn't really worried about it and when i talked to the plastic surgeon today he also said that um he said something similar he said that um the the chances of the nipple actually necrosing was like less than two percent so chances are it's going to be fine um he said that most of the time it would have already um necrosed by now but you know we'll just have to see how things things go and how things heal but um but the both of the doctors seemed like that they were promising about that so i'm just going to um hope for the best and pray that that it comes back to to normal coloration soon um let's see what else pain levels so i have been trying to wean myself off of the percocets uh, like I said, uh, the pain in the evenings is the worst, and um, my plastic surgeon said that that means that I might be doing too much during the day. However, I reassured him that all I'm doing during the day is binge-watching Modern Family. Like, for instance, yesterday, i pretty sure I watched all of season three in one day of Modern Family. Not that I'm bragging, I just didn't have anything else to do all day um, other than sit there and watch the show which is fantastic by the way so i'm really loving the show if y'all haven't seen modern family i just 
Um, I'm in season four today, so uh, definitely check that out if you haven't watched it yet. It's awesome. It's hilarious. So, oh, and that's one of the other things too. Um, even I'm, there have been a couple of times when I've had to laugh when it's been so funny, I've laughed and it kind of hurt. So just be mindful of, of your recovery. And if, if you're watching a comedy in your recovery phase. So, um, let's see what else the pain, like I said, in, in the evenings, it's the worst. Um, I, I will just feel like shooting pains. I've been, you know, you really can only sleep on your back cause I still have my drains in. So I'm hoping, uh, they said that I've just got too much, still got too much fluid in order to take the drains out. So, uh, it hasn't been the, I haven't had enough not drainage for a long enough period of time yet. So we'll just have to keep draining. And I'm thinking that that has to do with me drinking so much water. Um, I'm still drinking a gallon of water every day, hitting all my macros from the plan that, um, coach Lexi and I came up with. And um, tomorrow's check-in day with Coach Lexi, so I will be sending her updated photos and um, and updates on my progress and everything, even though she knows I'm not training, but we wanna make sure that we preserve as much um, of the muscle mass that I have gained and everything, so that way when I do come back from recovery that I'll be able to um, just hit the ground running. So, um, so yeah, but that's basically it. I've just been healing, just been lying low and trying to wean myself off. I'm terrified of getting addicted to the painkillers because um, addiction runs strong in my family and I just, I don't want to get addicted to anything. And so, um, like I said, I'm just weaning myself off the medication and uh, taking the other medications. I'm still on my antibiotics and plastic surgeon did say today that he did not love that um, I was showering even with, so I told him about my little plastic Ziploc baggies over the tubes and he said just be very very careful because um those drains are connected inside the body and they're a way for bacteria to get inside the body as well so just be very very careful so he didn't sound like he loved the idea of our showering plan so hubby has decided that no more showering so my thought this weekend is probably to go to like a hair salon and see if somebody can just wash my hair for me and then um we'll just be taking um We'll just use the the little handheld hose thing in the shower uh, to to clean from the waist down and everything, and just plunge bath the upper half. As much as I don't want to do that, that just sounds disgusting. But um, I definitely don't want an infection. That is, would be much much worse. So I'm just gonna bear with it a few more days. And it sounds like because today's Wednesday, I have to have less than 25 cc's of fluid. Um, for two days in a row. So that means that that would be all of today collecting when measured tomorrow and then all of Thursday measuring to Friday. But since Friday is a holiday or so Friday is the end of the week, that means I won't be able to get my drains out until Monday. So I'm going to have to have them through the weekend. And I'm really super upset about that, but, um, but it is what it is. So I'll just have to, yeah, that no showering thing is oh, poor husband, bless his heart. Uh, I just feel bad for him. I'll try to, you know, do the best I can, but he's the one that's got to lay next to my stinky body. Ugh, poor guy. But he's a trooper. He's been amazing. Um, wonderful, wonderful support system. So I'm very, very blessed. Very, very grateful. But that's all, um, all I have for y'all in terms of recovery. Um, for our dental fun fact for today, um, just wanted to share with you guys that Babies have, or you know, children have less teeth than adults. Children have are supposed to have 20 baby teeth total, 10 top, 10 bottom, and adults are supposed to have 32 teeth, so 16 top, 16 bottom, and that includes the wisdom teeth. And one of the cool things about baby teeth is that the baby molars are wider than the adult premolars that um, that replace them. So if you have spacing in between baby teeth that's exactly what an orthodontist wants to see because that means that you should in theory have enough have more room for your adult teeth that will grow in later so yay so if you see spacing in your child's mouth and they still got all their baby teeth don't fret that's exactly what an orthodontist wants to see we love that we love all that space so don't worry about that all right so 
Today I'll be um, sharing with you a verse from Matthew 5.16. It says, In the same way, let your good deeds shine out for all to see, so that everyone will praise your Heavenly Father. So, I am going to use this message today to try to do something nice for my husband. Um, I haven't decided yet what that's going to be, but he's been taking such wonderful care of me. And his, his love for me and his love for God has really shown through um, just in how he's been taking care of me. And I'm so blessed. And so I just want, I want to share that back to him, even though I can't physically really do anything. But I want to do something, something nice for him. So I'm going to figure out what that's going to be and just, you know, and pay it forward to him to, to let God's light and love shine through me into him and, and just give him, you know, some praise and, and just, and some love because, you know, he's been such a wonderful caretaker. And I take away from this, you know, to, for all good deeds that we do in our lives to share our, to share our gifts that the Lord has given us with the world. So if you, if you have your own special gift and your own special talent, in my mind, this is a great way for you to share that with the world, share your, your gift. And for me, that's orthodontics, um, with the, what I can share with the world. And that was the path that the Lord put me on and I love what I do and I, I pray that I have an impact on my patients lives and um, my hope is that you know their smile just gives them that extra oomph that they need in this life to, to just get through and even if they don't realize it today or tomorrow I hope that one day they appreciate that that they have a really good smile and and thank their parents for paying for it because it's not cheap and it's definitely a privilege to have and I'm very grateful for what I get to do. And I'm truly, truly blessed every single day. So I, that's how I pay it forward in my profession. And, um, and in my home life, I'm gonna, like I said, try to pay it forward to my wonderful husband who has just been a wonderful caretaker for me. So that's all for today, guys. Thanks for listening. Best wishes, keep the fight on.